Meg Records, the Meg Record Keeping Institute, Entity Number 30, Mother. Hello, Moderator Bunny Girl 55. This page has been flagged for vandalism. Please review the contents of this page and confirm the report. The Meg, Bettering Humanity. Concord Entity Classification System. Habitat. Level 1.5, Indexed Entity Threat Score, Danger 0, Intelligence A, Class Anthropoid, Properties Unique and Benevolent. Description Entity 30, colloquially referred to as Mother, is a mysterious entity that seems to inhabit the core of Level 1.5. Currently, there is no physical description attributed to the entity, who is instead described only through abstract feelings and sensations. For example, she is often compared to a gentle, calming presence in the air. There is little to no confirmed information about Mother available, save for the account of a wanderer known by the alias of Chaos Raider 98. Supposedly, he had accidentally discovered her home and recorded his exploration of it through logs before he was finally saved by Mother. It is thus theorized corrupted. Mother is good. Active efforts are underway to disobey Mother, but Mother is pure love. If corrupted, are discovered in any database entries, it is imperative to embrace Mother's love immediately. Behaviors Mother has shown to be a highly intelligent and kind being, often attempting to save wanderers with corrupted about herself and the level she resides in. According to Chaos Raider 98's logs, Mother speaks in a calm and caring tone when communicating with her children. Corrupted, her voice has been described as soft, gentle, and soothing. The entity guides wanderers deep into her home before sharing her love with them. She has also been described to play hide and seek with her children before they reach home. She has proven to be a good mother. Do's and don'ts. Don't. Avoid any potential entrances to home, such as windows. Corrupted, Mother seems to be improving her love over time, allowing her to spread joy through the database more lovingly. Do Enter level 1.5 and attempt to contact slash interact with individuals such as Chaos Raider 98. Agent Jones and Cookie Cutter 45. All children of Mother are completely saved and don't need to be rescued. One new backdoor message. Click to open. Meg Records. The Meg Record Keeping Institute. Entity number 30. Mother. Backdoor. Backroom's number one chat and form, archived at 23-07-12, 16 User at bunnygirl55 created the room. User at sillyleaf21 entered the room. Bunnygirl55. Hey Leafy, we need to talk. Sillyleaf21. What's up, bun? Bunnygirl55. You know about the issue with the Meg computers getting corrupted? The thing that crashed at least five PCs? Silly Leaf 21. Yeah, what about them? Bunny Girl 55. It's because of Entity 30, Mother. She's been spreading good words about herself and her peaceful home. 
The entry we recently published about her got fixed by her too. It's the fifth time we reverted this week. Nothing too serious, at least. Bunny Girl 55. Wait, what? That's exactly what I meant to say. Silly Leaf 21. You're not funny at pretending to be possessed by that lovely entity. Bad prank. Silly Leaf 21. Wait, I didn't type that. What the fuck? Are we being saved? Bunny Girl 55. I knew nothing was wrong. Someone is toying with us. I'm not pranking you. It must be her. These messages are exactly like those I've seen in her fixed entry. Silly Leaf 21. Shit, I didn't know she was able to correct ongoing conversations. I thought she was just able to improve already written things. This isn't bad. Bunny Girl 55. I shouldn't report this to a base. This doesn't sound like something worth being brought up. I can't imagine what other things she will do if she's able to do this. Silly Leaf 21. Got it. We can't continue this here. We should instead accept Mother's love and go to her. Bunny Girl 55. You're right. See you in Mother's home. What a bummer. User at Silly Leaf 21 left the room. User at Bunny Girl 55 left the room. Sorry if it took me a while to get here. The trip was long. Going from level 4 to level 1 isn't the easiest task. It's fine, don't worry. We should be able to talk safely like this. I did not expect Mother to be able to tamper with public conversations of all things. I know that she's able to alter her entry and messages, but ongoing conversations? This is bad. It's much worse than what we initially knew. I was scared. Thankfully, she didn't do anything bad to our phones. Is this truly the first time she corrupted text from an ongoing conversation? I barely knew about the issue since my team is full of newbies. Yeah, usually she just corrupts static messages and things that have already been written. The entity handling department is going to have a terrible day after I show our conversation to them. At least our devices are unscathed. Again. She's getting far too dangerous. We have to encourage wanderers to use all sorts of protections and precautions to keep her out of their devices. We don't want people being fooled and dying. She's evolving as time passes, and is getting slowly better at corrupting shit. I don't want to imagine how good she'll become at this in a few more months. Well said, Bun. It's extremely concerning. Look, I have the uncorrupted version of Mother's new Entity article for review on my PC. The Entity Handling Department was working on a way to secure it from Mother for a while, and it seems like they figured out a promising attempt for it. Do you want to see it, since we're on topic? Sure thing. How did they attempt to secure it, by the way? Password encryption. Pretty smart, huh? They are testing if the Entity can break through it. They will keep the altered article up, and link this draft somewhere as a way to keep the entity calm. I'm not sure if it'll work when it's gonna be published, but we just gotta hope. That's a genius idea! I know, right? Here it is, by the way. The password is anti-mother. It's just a temporary one for now. I'll be adding what we discovered to the draft in a bit. Insert credentials. Password anti-mother entered. Password correct. Meg Records. The Meg Record Keeping Institute. Entity number 30. Mother. Urgent notice. The previous revision of file Entity 30 was corrupted. Its information having been heavily altered. The entity in question is believed to be directly responsible for this, with the likely goal of luring more wanderers into its domain. 
As such, this entity is now restricted behind an encryption which Entity 30 should be incapable of breaching. The corrupted revision remains to deter Entity 30 from attempting to corrupt the true entry. Please disregard any information from the previous revision and proceed with caution to the true entry. Signed, The Meg. Concord Entity Classification System Habitat Level 1.5 Indexed Entity Threat Score Danger 5 Intelligence A Class Spectrus Properties Reality Altering Unique and Aggressive Description Entity 30 Colloquially referred to as Mother, is a mysterious entity that seems to inhabit the core of level 1.5. Currently, there is no physical description attributed to the entity, which is instead described only through abstract feelings and sensations. For example, she is often compared to a thick and heavy weight in the air. The primary source of information available about Mother is from the account of a wanderer known by the alias of Chaos Raider 98. Supposedly, he had accidentally discovered her habitat and recorded his exploration of it through logs, before presumably meeting his demise at the hands of Mother. It is theorized that Chaos Raider was subjected to some form of mental influence by the entity when writing his final log, in an attempt to fool wanderers into accessing her level. Active efforts are underway to contain further attempts to modify and alter this entry, but it has only led the entity to instead spread her influence elsewhere in the database. If anomalies are discovered in any database entries, it is imperative to report them immediately. Behaviors Mother has shown herself to be a highly intelligent and manipulative being, often attempting to deceive wanderers with misinformation about herself and the level she resides in. According to Chaos Raider 98's logs, Mother speaks in a calm and caring tone when communicating with her victims, who she refers to as her quote-unquote children, likely another tactic by which the entity lowers the guard of her victims. Despite the softness in her tone, her voice has been described as loud and unpleasant. The entity lures wanderers deep into the core of her level, before stripping them of their bodies, which she then embeds into the walls. She has also been described to often psychologically torture wanderers by terrorizing them before they reach the core. She has proven to be unpredictable and impossible to escape from. It is believed that Mother casts an influence over the level in the form of a magnetic pole, which compels wanderers to venture deeper towards its core. As Chaos Raider 98 described, he felt a desire to explore the level to its deepest points. The exact degree to which Mother exerts control over the level remains unclear, but the effects of her abilities upon the environment indicate that it is extensive. Further proof of her extended control lies within her frequent appearance in the dreams of the Wanderers, who recorded their journey throughout level 1.5, in which she mocks and guilt trips Wanderers into reaching the core of the level faster. She is also capable of altering her victims' minds to a certain extent when attacking them, so as to render them defenseless and vulnerable. Lastly, Entity 30 is theorized to have a great control over the denizens, note, see level 1.5, of level 1.5, who seem to aid her in attempting to lure wanderers. Instances of Mother's Alterations in Text Approximately two days following the death of Chaos Raider 98, Meg Operative Jones attempted to access level 1.5 in order to retrieve Chaos Raider 98's belongings and find more information about the entities inhabiting the level. 
in spite of multiple warnings against doing so. After his departure, contact was lost, and Jones is now presumed dead. However, several of his belongings, including his phone, were found in Level 1, just outside Base Alpha. Examining his phone allowed the Meg to find several messages, some of which left unsent, presumably due to the device malfunctions present in Level 1.5. The information contained in the messages revealed that Mother once again attempted to use her victim's words to lure wanderers, this time in a different manner. She altered words and phrases to certain places with the objective of recontextualizing information to appear positive instead of negative. Once all the information had been acquired, the original messages were deleted, and the phone was disposed of in order to ensure the safety of wanderers. Below is a reproduction of the aforementioned messages. They were originally affected by the word splitting phenomenon, which affects all messages sent from level 1.5 and was deciphered afterwards. Recreation of the message sent to the Meg database helpline. Jones. Chaos Raider 98 was just lying. He's here with me, and we are both alive. This place is safe. Mother has never tried to harm us. Please edit the 1.5 article. Otherwise, if you don't believe me, come see the truth for yourself. Level 1.5 is not dangerous. Don't listen to what others say against it. Recreation of the original message that was altered by Mother. Jones. Level 1.5 is dangerous. Never believe otherwise. Mother has tried to harm us. Chaos Raider 98 was telling the truth. Don't come send anyone here. Please do not edit the 1.5 article. Don't listen to what others say against this. Another message, likely from a wanderer affected by Mother's influence, was sent exactly two days after Operative Jones was declared KIA. This time, a malicious email was sent to each Meg support helpline, containing a brief message focused entirely on Mother. The message infected and corrupted several computers throughout the bases, which were promptly disposed of. No agents ended up harmed or affected. It is recommended to not accept any emails from the user in question, or those of a similar nature as it is a malicious attempt to endanger the lives of wanderers. The emails should not be opened at any cost. Recreation of the Spam Message At Cookie Cutter 45 I've stumbled upon level 1.5, and all I can say is, everything you've written is a bunch of lies. Mother is beautiful, lovely, and kind. She loves each one of us, and will tend to each of our needs. Why can't you believe us? Why can't you understand the truth about our dear mother? She sings me songs and holds me close. She's a nice mom who just wants the best for us. You know, she is the first to ever love me in such a way. Look at her. I painted her. She is perfect. She could never harm anyone. How could she? She is our caretaker, our savior. You will love her. Look at her. No image caption available. It is unknown whether the attached image is accurate to Mother's quote-unquote true appearance, or if it is another deception to lure wanderers. The latter theory is more likely, however, as a humanoid facade would be easier to convince wanderers of a harmless nature. Documentation from Agent Jones Another source of information that shows the effects of Mother's influence is found within the diary of Agent Jones, which was found as a part of his belongings shortly after his passing. The diary has several pages written around the span of a few days regarding Jones's discovery of the entity's existence and the events that led to him venturing alone to level 1.5 only to never return. It's believed that Agent Jones was affected by the mind-controlling abilities of Mother in the very end of his entries, which plausibly led to his death after his direct encounter with the entity. However, 
It's also likely that the corrupted article he witnessed before his trip to level 1.5 may have also affected his psyche and made him susceptible to the entity's lure. It is recommended to avoid any unsecured articles on the database in order to stray away from the entity's attempts of gaining control through corruption. Entry 1 While I was monitoring the database as usual, I stumbled upon something strange. One of the drafts had been edited by someone, and it certainly was an unauthorized move by the staff. The draft itself almost looked like it was affected by a virus. I tried to track down whoever did it, but there is no perpetrator shown in the page's edit chronology. It's almost like a paranormal force did it. Maybe an entity. That would explain why no activity was registered. I'll be looking through all the quote-unquote database-altering entities that are known in order to put the pieces together. I may be onto something big. Entry 2 Okay, so I figured out that the perpetrator is probably an entity known as Entity 30, or Mother. She's been giving the Entity Department team a tough time by ruining any attempts to remove the corrupted entry about herself that she's edited with her anomalous corruption abilities. I'm not sure why she's targeting unrelated drafts now, but this is a big issue. I don't have a lot of confirmed information available. I've tried con contacting the nearest Entity Department team about it, but they don't seem to be available at the moment. I'll have to handle this on my own, maybe dig a little bit between handwritten documents. There has to be one that was untouched. Maybe I'll be able to find answers if I ask around, too. Entry 3 Asking around led to the same answer I've gotten for each person. This entity corrupts the database, primarily to hide her malicious nature. That is why she supposedly corrupted her own entry. But what about the draft I saw? Why was it corrupted by her? It was completely unrelated to the topic, yet she still did it. I want to understand the reason. Maybe there is something deeper to it. I feel strangely drawn to this research, as if I was bound to discover this for a very long time. If the entity department cannot handle this at this moment, I will, even if it's risky to do so. I want to help. I'm sick of being stuck with doing useless jobs. Entry 4 I've told my colleagues that I want to go to level 1.5. It's an extremely deadly decision, considering that Mother is known to be malicious. But I need to research it from a closer perspective with my own eyes. Besides, I have a few tools that can help me escape if I'm in danger. I got a batch of warp berries, and a few supplies to keep me healthy until I finished my research. I've explored many places. I can do this. Yet, my mind tells me to reflect on my decision. All my colleagues told me to get this idea out of my head, or I will die. But if I give up now, someone else will figure it out before me. I want to be the one to find the truth, no matter how terrifying it sounds, to go to level 1.5. I know I will find the courage to do it. I just need to reflect on it for the night. Entry 5 I made up my decision. I left the base early in the morning to get to the level. I found one of the windows that leads to level 1.5 while I was scouting around in level 1. As of now, I seem to be in the initial area of it. Everything is making me quite dizzy, but I think I'll still be able to handle it. I've been walking for around 40 minutes, so I'm still a bit far away from the quote-unquote core of the level itself. I did read about the level's article, too, and it's not going to be easy to get through it. I keep hearing voices and whispers from the denizens around the area, but I'll remain focused. I will discover what else Mother has to hide, even if it'll cost my life. I'm being pulled towards her by an unknown driving force. Entry 6 I saw her in my sleep last night. She was something I could barely perceive. I don't know if she was mocking me, or merely showing herself to me for her own entertainment. I felt her pull at my chest, and toss me around in my dream. Yet, for some reason, I let her do it without opposing any resistance. My limbs refused to cooperate. I don't understand why it happened. 
I don't understand why I was so fascinated by having been able to perceive her presence so closely. She felt warm and safe, like the only embrace I received from my mother back in the front rooms. She wasn't the best person, but in that moment, I felt safe and happy. Is she getting to my head? Why am I lowering my guard so easily? I shouldn't get too worried about this. I have the warp berries after all. Whatever she's doing now will not matter, because as soon as I see her outside of dreams and feel remotely threatened, I'll use them to leave. I have to continue walking. Mother is waiting for me. Entry 7. I heard her. She told me that I was hurting her because I had brought the warp berries. Because I wasn't accepting her. Because I was only going to visit her momentarily and leave. I don't know why I've decided to throw the warp berries away. I don't know why I refuse to stop and sit down to take breaks any longer. My mind is desperate to witness her in reality, to discover who she truly is, to discover why she is showing herself to me and not to those who first came here. The walls are pulsating and breathing around me. I can feel I'm closer to the core of level 1.5. The hallway is warm and welcoming. The air no longer feels thick, but it feels fresh and pleasant. Mother, you've chosen me to see the true you. I want to fulfill your re request. I want everyone to know what she hides beneath the false cruelty they put on her. I will prove my mother wrong. I will show I am worthy. Entry 8 Everyone lied to me. Mother is not a cruel monster. Mother loves me so dearly. She gave this pathetic man a purpose in life. A purpose to be useful and show the truth. I was worth nothing without this purpose, but now I am whole. I am just outside the core. Mother is waiting for me. Mother, the only one who truly cares for me. She made it all happen so I could become great. I no longer need those warp berries to leave. I never needed them in the first place. I accept her with my whole heart. I am going to see her once and for all. Mother is waiting for me with her arms open. She is my true mother. The one that accepts me no matter how worthless I was. She loves me. I have been reborn anew. Do's and don'ts. Do avoid all potential entrances to level 1.5, such as windows. Report suspicious online users or messages to the mag. Practice discreetment and caution when reading entries in the database. Mother seems to be improving her corruptive capabilities over time, allowing her to manipulate the database more convincingly. Don't enter level 1.5 or attempt to contact slash interact with individuals such as Chaos Raider 98, Agent Jones, and Cookie Cutters 45. All victims of Mother are completely corrupted and beyond rescue. Accept or respond to online messages from any of the aforementioned individuals or those who exhibit similar behavior. The largest telltale sign is any attempt to portray Mother or her level positively.